Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the story of rapper Jody Wo and a rapper who killed him. Jody was born Joseph Almanza on November 22nd, 2000. Now little Jody, also known as Jody Wo, who grew up in Sacramento, California. And by now, if you tapped into the streets or my videos, where I discussed numerous times a breakdown of a lot of the Sacramento street politics and the hoods all throughout SAC. You will see growing up in Sacramento, it'll be easy for many of the youth to become affiliated with numerous gangs with so much gang activity throughout the city. Now Jody will have a typical childhood of most kids in the inner city. He was an older brother to two younger siblings, a little brother and a little sister, and played sports even with a small stature. And that's how he connected with a lot of people who will become his future friends. But a lot of family members will be in the streets and so will a lot of people he grew up with. Allegedly, Jody will have a relationship early in his childhood with several people who will go on to be affiliated with O'Part, some being people like B.O.E. Mumu. But Jody's affiliation with those guys will later be non-existent and he would dive deep into street life. Jody would start associating himself with a North Sac gang called the Del Paso Heights Bloods, known as just the Heights and several other names. Now the Old Park Bloods and the Heights have been rivals for several years, long before Jody was ever affiliated with anything. So his former friends from Old Park will call him a hood hopper, even though many claim he never actually claimed Old Park. And you can often see him in pictures and videos dissing Old Park. Now the Heights is one of the most known areas in Sacramento for having a lot of violence and gang activity in the community dating all the way back to the 80s. And the gang of Del Paso Heights Bloods had been one of the gangs controlling the area and going to war with nearby gangs for years. With the Heights being around for many decades, they would gain many rivals, and one of their most deadliest rivalries would be with the Old Park Bloods. Now Jody will be well connected to the Heights and its members, and he'd become popular among the community, and he even started affiliating with many allies of the Heights, being some of the South Sac gangs and many individuals from that side of Sacramento especially with some of the South Sac rappers like Kai Stax and DB by the bag. Jody himself would start rapping, furthering his popularity in the streets of Sacramento, but being in the streets would cost Jody, and he would be shot, but he survived. Losing close friends through the street life, like John Gotti, who he often rapped about, him and several of his friends decided to take rap serious as a way to get off the streets and make it out the hood. Jody would be described by many of his homies as a person to keep them motivated and make them take rap serious. By 2018, Jody had dropped numerous of songs and videos and collabed with many of his friends on records. By 2019, Jody started gaining a lot of traction off his music and gaining recognition off his music outside of Sacramento. Some of his songs would even drop on Bay Area platform, Dizzler, which had a large platform, making his buzz even larger. He would go on a collab with several of his close friends who were also doing numbers in music, like DB by the Bag and Number 9 among others. With a lot of momentum gaining from his songs in his rap career, in a few years, Jody had a lot of eyes on him, and with the growing rap scene in Sacramento, it was starting to get easier for SAC artists to elevate and get known, and in 2020, he was what many would call a rising artist, and with him being consistent, he was expected to take off, but for Jody, it wouldn't work out this way, and unfortunately, tragedy would strike. With Jody being connected to South SAC, he associated and hung out with various different gangs and gang members from South Sac Hoods, and a birthday party would be hosted for Little Raider, who was Metaview rapper, 10 Letter Gang Raider's little brother, which both later would be confirmed snitches. The party would be in South Sac, with several gang members in attendance, all from different areas. But rival gang members would get the drop to the party, and police said gunfire rung out just before 7.20 p.m. that night at the party. First responders found three people had been shot, one of whom was 19-year-old Jody, who later died at the hospital. Two additional gunshot victims would drive themselves to the hospital, police would say. Even though he was in the streets, Jody's death would send shockwaves through Sacramento and the rap scene, with Jody's death being so unexpected and shocking. Loved ones stand in front of a home at the intersection of 29th and Gardendale Road in South Sacramento, holding candles and flowers. He was my son. That was my baby they took. Where family members say 19-year-old Joseph Almanza known to loved ones as Jojo, was shot and killed Saturday night. Jojo was the, the, the bride of the sun. Jojo was, he didn't have a mean soul in him. 
Sacramento police say just after 7 p.m., they received reports of several shots fired after an altercation at a house party. There they found three gunshot victims, one with life-threatening injuries. Officers say two other victims transported themselves to the hospital. But family members say Almanza was pronounced dead at the hospital. People put them in their cars and took them, but my baby was left. And then for somebody to call me and tell me like it was nothing, nothing. I, I can't, I can't accept. Remember Almanza for his infectious laugh and his budding rap career. He was ready to be big, big. People wanted to buy his music. They're remembering a young life ripped away from loved ones and friends. I hope that guy that did it turned himself in because it's going to be a guilty conscience on him because he got with the wrong boy, an innocent boy. Now, Jody would go on to be dissed by several people and rappers from enemy gangs in the main hood dissing him will be all part. Jody, whoa, you back a lot. <laughs> Kill him again. <laughs> Used to be my cousin. Get out. Nigga slapped that nigga Jody on his face with his ass up. He said Juju died. Jojo died. Them niggas died on some <laughs> nigga shit. Nigga that nigga Jody on his face with his ass up. That nigga mom was crying on the news talking about, I love my son. He wasn't no gangbanger or none of that. He played sports. And, uh, that nigga yeah. was a switch up. Bitch, <laughs> 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 that nigga dead. You even had several rappers dissing him in songs like Born Stunner 3G. Snubs, B.U.E. Mumu, B.U.E. Sosa, and Murder Gang Juju. Now, if you watch my Sacramento Most Disrespectful Lyrics, Part 1 and Part 2, you will see Murder Gang Juju was highly disrespectful on records to anybody he saw as an enemy to old part. Juju gained the reputation of what many people call a crash out. He would be arguing on live with his enemies, making diss songs, and doing anything for clout. Just need to me. Jody need to me. Genie and pushed Jody in his shots because he had no blaming. Juju with this many dead rappers in his songs, and Jody was always a name he mentioned in his lyrics. On his song Rack Victim, he would say, Jody got killed, I just laughed. Crazy thing about this, a year and a half later, he would be charged with the murder of Jody Wall. Murder gang Juju, real name Julian Brown, and another man named Anthony Smith got the drop about the party. Both men affiliated with O Park saw this as a time to kill several rivals and complete a drive-by. Rival gang members from the other side fired back with a total of five guns being fired and 45 shell casings located at the scene. Surveillance video captured a vehicle near the shooting moments before the murder and captured the same vehicle with a bullet hole in the back window shortly after the shooting. That vehicle belonged to a woman in Antioch who loaned it to Anthony Smith. Juju's DNA was found on shell casings and other evidence placed Juju and Anthony near the shooting scene at the time of the murder. One firearm was recovered six weeks after the murder on an old park gang member. That gun was not registered and matched one of the five sets of shell casings at the shooting scene. Now you may think Anthony Smith, just like Juju, was another old park gang member putting in work, but his story is a lot different. Anthony Smith was a star athlete. He even went to Luther Burbank and played high school ball at Luther Burbank, which is a South Sacramento high school, just a few blocks away from 29th Street, where Jody was killed. Now Anthony had a future in sports. He played junior college ball before transferring and becoming a D1 athlete on a UNLV basketball program, but he would be kicked off the team for many infractions, one being a gun possession. So this incident killed his career. And I guess this is what turned him to the streets. You will later see him with Mozzie and several other old park members, making him, I guess, a 6'5 shooter on and off the court. Now Juju is currently in prison and serving a 90 year sentence. His earliest parole date is 2045. And as we speak, Anthony is in Sacramento County Jail, appearing to fight his case still. And for them, a rap career and a sports career was thrown away just to the streets. Jody was only 19 at the time of his death and his rap career was cut short. RIP to him. This will conclude this episode, if you haven't already. Make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.